All right, another GMS on the go, back with another lesson. Hey, we're saying it. I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Bahashim, Zakar Kodash. We do it that way today, you know what I'm saying? Hey, double honor to the head of apostles and head of the great millstone. The ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace and blessings to all you sincere icons, man. Putting your life on the line week in and week out, man. Not not just being hearers of the word, but doers also, man. You know, this GMS on the go, we're going to call it on part three. You know what I'm saying? If you don't work, you don't eat. You know what I'm saying? If you don't put in work for your house, you're not going to eat, man. You're wondering why you, you can't do lessons. You wonder why you can't um, go out there and speak on the highways and byways because you're not putting in the work, man. You're not reading, you're not studying, you know? You're not doing sit-down videos. If you don't work, you don't eat, man. Just like in this society, if you gotta, if you say like you quit your job, you know what I'm saying? But then all of a sudden you get hunted. How can you pay for some food, you know what I'm saying? If you haven't worked and made any money to pay for the food. Same thing, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to serving your house by Shemel Shah, if you don't work, you don't eat, man, okay? This book of Genesis, chapter 3, verse 19. Right, yep. In the sweat of thy face, thou shalt eat bread. Right, and that's the only way you're going to eat nowadays, man. Everything was given to us, you know what I'm saying, thousands of years ago. You know what I'm saying? Everything was given to us, hands down. We had to work for that, man. But now, we disobeyed your house, but she never shot, and then we got to work for everything. Then you Negroes, Latino, and Native American Indians going to have to sweat. You know what I'm saying? And look, and that's um, physically and spiritually, man. You got to put in some work, you know what I'm saying? Up late nights, losing sleep. You know what I'm saying? Doing what? Doing studying, putting up videos, laboring for your how by Shemel Shah. It is what it is, man. By the sweat of thy brow shall thou eat, man. Nothing's going to be handed to you anymore, man. You got to put forth some action, put forth some work nowadays, man. You feel like chiming in, I'm going to chime in. This is um, Genesis 3 and 19. Right. In the sweat. Of thy face, right. thou shalt eat That's right. bread till thou return unto the ground, for out of it was thou taken. Right. For dust thou art, and unto dust thou shalt return. Right, you know what I'm saying? Because hey, over here in America, most definitely, you know I'm saying, you're going to work until the day that you die. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't, you ain't going to eat. And we're in the times that we're living in now, man, it's worse than before. It's like really a dog eat dog world, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's like that in the spirit too, man. If you ain't putting forth some work, what good is you to your how about shooting that was shot? You're good for nothing, man. Then look, because if you ain't eating, meaning sitting down reading the words of your how about shooting that was shot, most definitely you're not gonna be able to do no videos, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna be out, be able to come out here on the highways and byways, you know what I'm saying, and speak doing camp, man. A brother asked you to come up and speak. If you ain't been studying, meaning working, putting in work for your how about shooting that was of course, you ain't gonna have no lessons ready. You know what I'm saying? Things of that nature, man. So most definitely, you got to work, man, to eat, man. You know? So we're going to get, um, it's a whole, um, we'll get a couple of them through the spirit of your house, but you know what I'm It's a lot. Um, first scripture, get, um, first Corinthians 15 and 58. This is, um, first Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. Right. And it reads, Therefore, my beloved brethren. Right, and it's talking to the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Go ahead. Be ye steadfast. Right. Unmovable. That's right. Always abounding. In, Go ahead. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. Right, always abounding in the work of the Lord. You're constantly working. You're constantly doing shows. You're constantly out here on the highways and byways, and it says steadfast, man. Look, look, unmovable, man. Don't let nothing um, get you to waver, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't let your faith waver, man. Because we got that too. Faith without works is dead, man. When it comes to your house, but you shot, don't be um, waver, man. In, 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 when it comes to your faith, man. Because it takes faith to come out here and do the works of your house, but you know shot, man. It said, it said be steadfast, unmovable, constantly, constantly laboring, man. You're constantly putting up shows. Week in and week out, you out here on the highways and byways, man. You no, know, when, when time is needed, man. You're always ready to do a lesson with the brother, man. You're always willing to do the work of your house, but you know what I'm man. Really no, really no off days, bro, so to speak, you know? But just look, when it comes to Esau, you constantly putting in work. Each and every day trying to get in overtime. But put in some overtime for your house, but you know what I'm man. Yeah, go ahead. Like the verse said, you know, unmovable, because you know, Yahweh Shai is our foundation. Right. He's our rock. So you 
you gotta believe in the name of the Al Bashim Yom Shai to do this work, you know, to the best of your ability. That's right, bro. That's right. I don't need to go say, um, I have believed, therefore have I spoken. Right. So if you ain't making videos, you ain't studying, you ain't watching videos, you really don't believe in right. you don't believe in Yom Bashim Yom Shai. That's right. Honestly, you're wasting your time. That's right. It's good to say that you're deceiving your own self. Right. I hope that process you said there, I got this right here. Because faith and belief are, are synonymous, man. They go hand in hand. So like bro said, you know what I'm saying? If you're not reading, if you're not studying, if you're not preaching this word, you really don't believe, man. And this is what the scriptures have to say about unbelief. This is Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. But without faith, without belief, it is impossible to please him. No? Yeah, because it's impossible to please y'all by Shemel Shai without faith. You know? Right. Believe in things that they don't see. Right. So, you know, you feel. That's right. Just like that. That's so, he that coming to your house, while your house shy, look, must believe. You know what I'm saying? So, you must believe. You must have faith in the words you have by Shemel Shai. It's like bro said, if you believe, you know what I'm saying, the things that you're reading, you're going to show forth works. You know what I'm saying? It says, um. For he that cometh to Yahweh, why Yahweh shot, must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You gotta believe that at the end all be all, you know, when the is destroyed, that Yahweh shot is going to save you for your work. Right. And, and, and you're going to get paid for your work. You, you, you finished that um, the Corinthians 15 and 15? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go right back. This is Second Ezra 9 and 7. And every one that shall be saved right. and shall be able to escape. And it's like it bro, meaning ain't nobody saved. You know what I'm saying? It says, and everyone that shall be saved. Henceforth, letting you know that ain't nobody saved yet, contrary to possible belief. You know what I mean? Go ahead. And shall be able to escape. By his work. Look, look, escape what? Escape the death and destruction that's coming to this place, man. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. And by faith. Hey, look, he's going to be delivered by his works, man. Ultimately, you're going to be delivered because you're part of the elect of the nation of Israel. But faith without works is dead, man, according to the scriptures, man. You ain't going to be delivered off what the next man do. Ain't going to be delivered off what this brother, the work that he put in. You know what I'm saying? Just late night studying, the art of reading, the stuff that this man do, this brother do. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get delivered of the works that you put in, man. You know? You can't ride the next man's coattail, man. Now, we can't ride the apostles' coattails, you know what I'm saying? You think we're going to be delivered of the works that they've been putting in for all these years, man. You got to put in your own works, man. You know? Just like, just like if you're working for Esau, you're on your job. Everybody's working, but you're not. You're not going to get a check because the next man's working. Oh, yeah, I'm getting a check off of what the labor he put in. No, man. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get paid for the works that you put in. And that's, that's for anybody that you work for, man. How much more the Heavenly Father, man, and His Son? Read that again, bro. This is 2 Ezra 9 and 7. Right. In every one that shall be saved, it shall be able to escape. And the only ones that can be saved are the Israelites, man. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Okay? And shall be able to escape. By his works right. and by faith. That's right, because faith without works is dead, which we're going to get that. We're going to get that after the brother finish. Go ahead. Where, whereby ye have believed. Right, whereby ye have believed, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I believe, therefore, I have spoken, man. Why you think we out here on the highways and byways? Why you think we're making this video right now, man? Because we believe, man. We believe in your house. We believe in these words, man. Faith without works is dead. And, and as soon as you finish that Corinthians, you know what I'm saying, you can get that. James 2, okay, 17, yeah. Read 17 and 18. Right. This is back in 1 Corinthians 15 and 58. Right. Therefore, my beloved brethren, right. be ye steadfast. That's right. Unmovable. That's right. Always abounding. Yeah, because you bro made a good point, you know what I'm saying? Hey, your how about Shem Yahushai, Lord, your how Shai has to be your foundation, man. That rock, man. You know what I'm saying? That rock has to be your foundation, man. You can't build your foundation on sand, as the scriptures have said. Because when, when the floods come in, you know what I'm saying, it's going to wash it away, man. It's going to wash that house away, man. But that house that was um, built on um, good foundation can't be removed, man. Can't be shaken, man. You know? Go ahead. Add something. Back in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. Right. And it reads, 
All my family's prisons. Always abounding. Right, you say you had a definition for that? Yes. Abounding. Many birds that have been bringing this definition out to the spirit. Right. This definition of abounding. This is um, the definition of abounding. Look, look, that's why we're putting in the work now, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why we're putting in work now. We're, we're assured of what we have been taught, man. We're assured of it, bro. You know what that's why we come out here, man. We know this. Is, we're, we're sure that this is the truth, man. Yeah, how about Shemar Shai gave us the faith to believe that. You know what I'm saying? Definition of abounding. It says to exceed a fixed number of measure. Right. So, you know, the birds been bringing us out all week. You know, probably longer than that. You know, I'm just getting on to it. Right. The fixed number is three videos a week. Right. So, if you, it says to exceed a fixed number. So, if you're only doing three videos a week, you're not abounding in the work of the Al Bashim Al Shah. Right. You're doing the bare minimum. Right. Like you're on your job and, you know, Doing just enough to get by. Just enough to get by. Right. You know? we, we can't be in that spirit. You know what I'm saying? Wonderful point, bro. We can't be in that spirit doing just enough to get by, man. No, man. You know what I'm saying? Exceed the limitations, man. You know what I'm saying? The Apostle say do three videos a week. Try to do five, man. You know, try to do five, man. You know, it depends on the talents that you have been given. You know what I'm saying? Some brothers have more talents than others, so they most definitely um, got the spirit to do more. You know what I'm saying? But your brothers need to start pushing themselves, though, man. You know, if you don't work, you don't eat. This is part three, man. And this is deadly serious. This is the last time we're gonna be able to do this, man. Might as well get it in, man. Because look, cause the lessons that you don't do, you have a bunch of shots gonna put it up the spirit on another brother to do that lesson, man. And you're gonna be like, damn, yo. You know what I'm saying? Even though you can still do that lesson, but hey, you have a bunch of shots like, yo, I put the spirit on you to do it, do it, man. You know? That shows me that the Lord really don't like you. Right. Right. It says to be left over and above a certain number or measure. Right. So do more than what is, what is expected, man. You know? Do more than what is expected of you, man. You know? That was pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah. Back in First Corinthians 15. That's why that's why I brought a blessing to look up the meaning of words, so though. Help you break down the scriptures better, though, man. Give you a better understanding, man. That's, that's one of our models here at Great Millstone, from the apostles and the elders and the men on down, is to look up the meaning of words, you know? 1 Corinthians 15 and 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, right. be ye steadfast, unmovable, that's right. always abounding in the work of the Lord. And look, in the work of the Lord. Should you put in overtime for Esau? You know what I'm saying? You going um, far and beyond for Esau? How about go far and beyond for your how about Shai? You know what I'm saying? Put in some overtime for your how about Shai, man. How about that, man? Just sit on that, bro. Just 58. Yeah, as ye know that your labor is not in vain. And look, as ye know that your labor is not in vain, man. And look, we're gonna get paid at the end of the day, man. If you continue to the end for the work that you've been putting in, see, when you work for Esau, you know what I'm saying? This devil, you know what I'm saying? Hey, he ain't really thinking about really rewarding you, man. You know what I'm saying? The, the scripture I just read, you know what I'm saying, um, Hebrews 11 and 6 said, he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a reward, you know what I'm saying? And we ain't doing this thing for a reward. We doing this, you know what I'm saying? Because Yahweh, you know what I'm saying, have mercy on us to give us our nationality back, first and foremost, the name for us to be able to call on, you know? Hey, so this is the least that we can do. According to um, making our bodies a living sacrifice, it's the least that we can do. You know what I'm saying? Putting in this work, it's the least that we can do, man. Um, right. right. And um, as you know that your labor is not in vain for right. the Lord. That's right. So we doing this. We doing this for the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? We doing this also if the Lord will it be delivered, man. You know what I'm saying? This is the book of James, chapter two, verse. We'll read probably like two more. We'll wrap it up. All right. Unless you got something else. This book of James, chapter two, verse seventeen. Right. Even so, faith, if it have not worked. Right, because you know what I'm saying? You got, a, like your brother, you got a whole lot of brothers saying they got the faith. You know what I'm saying? You got a whole lot of guys saying they got faith. But the brothers is doing the work. But you got a whole lot of guys coming on the comment board when I mean, they got faith and all that. But the scripture say faith without works is dead, man. You got faith with your works at, man. You know what I'm saying? With your videos that, with your street teachers that, right, bro? 
what I'm saying? You're doing a wonderful video, great video, bro. Well, well, go out there so we can say that about your video. You know what I'm saying? Look, put some work in for the Lord so we can compliment you on your video, man. And say what wonderful words you putting in, man. The, your video that you did was edifying the water. I needed that. You know what I'm saying? You know? We that again, bro. Unless you want to say something. Yeah, scriptures say seek the Lord ten times more, you know? Not right. just when it, when it feels convenient. Right. The brothers is bringing out a lot of brothers, they do what they want to do, and then they do the work of the Lord when it's time left over. You right. know? That's, that's ass backwards. Right. Right. That's showing off backwards, and we we thinking about moving forward, man. You do whatever's commanded of you from the Lord first, man. And if you have time to do your little whatever nonsense, you know what I'm saying, then you do it, man. You have by Shemiel work first, man. You know? Yeah, because you can, you can satisfy the spirit for the day, you know? Right. I read, I you know, I did my devotion, you know, I went to church, you know, I got a little bit of time, you know, you know? Now you can relax. Right. You, uh, you start with the flesh, you can't. You can't please the flesh. Right. You're gonna go eat like a big meal. Right. Man, I really want some, you know. I'm gonna watch this movie. Yep. Now. I'm tired now. I'm tired. Oh man, I, I can use some good sleep. Right, you know? right. Like, you really can't please the flesh. That's right. So this is um. That's why. That's why you wanna um feed the spirit more than you feed the flesh. You know. Yep. But that flesh, you know, what I'm saying, loves pleasure, man. You know. James two and seventeen. Even so, if it have not worked. Right is dead being alone right so you say you got faith in the lord then show forth your works man bring bring them videos out you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying hit the streets man you have a bunch of shot look the lord has um built you up on a level to where you can go out and teach man and do videos then do them man do something man do something don't just be on the job just standing around with a broom in your hand and you ain't sweeping man you know what i'm saying bro are you that type of guy you know what i'm saying everybody else working while you're in the bathroom sitting down you know what I'm saying? Waiting for out, waiting for the day to go by. You know what I'm saying, bro? And still trying to get that paycheck. No, it don't work like that in this thing of ours, man. It don't work like that. Sit on there, bro. Yeah. Verse 18. Yay, a man may say, Thou hast faith. Right. And I have works. That's right. Show me thy faith without thy works. Right. And I will show thee my faith by my works. See, this, this, what you see um, demonstrated right here, starting off with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and men on down, you're seeing faith, man. And on top of that, you're seeing works, right? You know what I'm saying? We're showing our faith by being out here doing the works of the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? Making our bodies a living sacrifice. So like the Apostle Paul said, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, show me your faith, you know what I'm saying? Without your works. And I'm going to show you my faith by my works, man. And that's what you're seeing being demonstrated right here, right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, because some of the some the highways and byways, you right. know, and bid them to the marriage. That's right. And by us reading that scripture, we believe that we have to do that commandment, you know? That's right. And that's what we're doing. That's why we're out here right now. Right. And we believe that there's a reward for all of this. That's you know? right. That Yahweh Shemel Shai is coming soon, and we will receive mercy for doing that's right. Now, we don't, we don't only believe that a reward is coming for us to do the work and endure to the end. We know, you know what I'm saying? We know that we're going to receive a reward if we some of those elect men that endure to the end, right? This is, um, you finished with that, bro? Get, um, Hebrews chapter 6, 10 through 11, and then we'll bring one more. We'll bring like the rock 7 to 15. Right. Chapter 6. This is Hebrews chapter 6, I remember. verse 10. <laughs> right. For the Most High is not unrighteous. So forget your work. Yeah, look, look, the Lord is not going to, the Lord is not unrighteous, man. You know what I'm saying? We got a righteous power, man. You see, that's, that's one thing about Jacob. You know they, don't, they can't feather in your house about you now. No, we got a righteous power, man. Uh -oh, what did it say about him again, bro? We started talking Hebrews 10 and 6. Right. For the Most High is not unrighteous. Right. To forget your work. See, look, um, Yahweh by Shemel is not Esau, man. You know what I'm saying? He's not the Edomite, man. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Absorb it. To forget your work and labor of love. Right. See, this is the labor of love right here, doing his work. Put him these videos, doing them shows, doing the um, street videos, sitting down reading. You know what I'm saying? Things of that nature, re doing research, you know, to the best of your ability. That's all laboring, man. You know what I'm saying? That's all bringing forth the works, man. Putting forth works. You have about Shemel Shai is not unrighteous, and he's going to forget that, man. Esau, you know what I'm saying? You can do a whole lot for Esau, he forget about it the next day. You know what I'm saying? No matter how much you did, these Edomites is going to forget it, man. 
Now you have a bunch of me over shot. Yeah. That's why the scriptures say, um, love one another as I have loved you. Right. Yahweh Shai told us this word, you know? He's the one that, you know, was that sacrifice from lamb and taught you know, is teaching us and has taught us in ancient days and still teach us now. Right. It's not our duty to go teach others. That's right. Others that believe. Yeah, man, look, because you have a good point, bro. So you made me think of something. This is really us showing love. I'm saying when we come out here and labor and bring forth this word, this is us really showing the mission of Israel love, man. Just like the Lord say, look, if you love my, uh, if you love me, be my people. You know what I'm saying? Be my lamb. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's exactly what we're doing. We feed no, the flock. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Where do you go? Where? Back in Hebrews 6 and 10. No, right. exactly. For the most high, it's not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. That's right. You think the most high don't see you stand up late night reading, <laughs> losing sleep, you know what I'm saying? Going to work halfway, sleeping all that, putting in work for them, man? You think they don't see us doing sit down videos, all those videos that we do um, every week, coming out here on the highways and byways? The God of the Bible sees that, man. Which he has shown. And then it's like that, bro. In the God of the Bible, you have about Shemel Shah also see the God is BSing around, bro. And it ain't putting in work. Ain't studying. Ain't reading. Ain't doing videos. You know what I'm saying? Ain't coming out here on the highways and byways. Even though they have received this word, man. The God of the Bible sees that too, now. So just remember that, now. Right. Go to your YouTube page. Ain't nothing on there. Ain't nothing there but um, cobwebs. You know what I'm saying? Spiderwebs, right, bro? Flies. Flies hovering around your face. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing there, bro. You know what I mean? He's got instructions. You know, you go to the, um, this person in the camp. Right. You know, you gotta go to the main page. Right. 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 Hey, look, we just look. What's his name? We, we do all this for the name of Yahweh, but you know what We labor. We put in work for the name of Yahweh, but you know what man. That's what we do it for, the Lord, man. And that he has ministered to the saints. Right. Yeah, we minister to the saints when we come out here and teach, man. The saints are the Israelites, man. Okay? When you're ministering, that means you're teaching, man. Teaching the saints, man. Teaching the Israelites, man. So the Lord said, you know what I'm saying? Hey, look, I ain't trying to blind eye to that, man. I see every time you go out there to the highway, the byway. I see every video. Now look, I don't care if you got one view on your video. I seen it. You know what I'm saying? The angels seen Look, the angels watch. You know what I'm saying? I watched it. Look, the most high Yahweh watched your video. The um, Lord Yahweh shot watched your video. The angels watch your video. You know what I'm saying? Look, look, all the, all the spirits up in heaven watch your video. So the hell with if, if you only got one view down here, bro. You know what I'm saying? That one view don't mean nothing, man. Um, um, a multitude of angels. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, you have watch Chanel shot. Watch your video, man. That's the only thing you need to be worried about, man. That the Lord has seen you putting in that work, man. Yeah. Yeah, and um, I know brothers can't account for this. You know, when you watch a video, you know that the spirit. If it's you, most of the time, the spirit's talking directly to you. Right. So you see, you might be that that one brother got that one view. The Lord put the Spirit on you to make that video just for Him. Yep. That's what you gotta believe. Yep. That each video you do is gonna be edifying to the one of the members of the elect. Right. Cause shit, you know, so you got twenty thousand views, but that don't mean uh, it could be um, two, uh, twenty thousand scoffers. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, bro? And different other nations just watch your video and scoff at it the whole time, and the elect didn't even watch it, man. So it ain't all about views. Don't get caught up on views, man. You know what I'm saying? Plus the Lord ain't gonna really uh, reveal how many views you really getting anyway, cause you might get um, big headed, man. Cause um, knowledge puffeth up, man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord reveal how many views we was really getting on each video. Who knows, you know what I'm saying, who, who would be getting puffed up, bro? You know what I'm saying? Shit, I'm getting, I'm getting 100,000 views every video, brother. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no telling what it is due to a person, man. It might destroy you, man. You know what I'm saying? So a guy that's just getting only one view, be thankful for that one view. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you get that many views, you gotta get sponsorships by Esau. Right. You gotta put ads in your videos. Right. You know, Esau gonna want them. Yeah, Esau gonna want them. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. This is back in Hebrews 10, and this last bottom part of verse 6 and 10. Right. And you minister, and we desire that every one of you who show the same diligence. Right. And that's the prophet Paul, right? You know what I'm saying? Look, like we desire you. unto you. Can we read that last part again, bro? Hebrews 6 and 11. Right. And we desire that every one of you, right. you show the same diligence. Show the same diligence, man. 
starting off with the apostles and the elders on down, man. How you see the apostles and the elders putting in work, man. Show the same diligence, man. And of course, you know what I'm saying? The apostles, you know what I'm saying? The elders of great millstones be giving more talents than, you, than younger brothers like us, man. But you still gotta show more the same diligence, man. Look, you know, do what you can, man. Add on, man. You know what I'm saying? Bring out them talents, man. Use the talents that the Lord gave you, man. You know? It's a wonderful thing. The apostles watch our videos too, man. That gets them pumped up too. You know what I'm saying? You know? Bring look, bring that milk out, man. Bring that milk out, man. That pumps the apostles and the elders up too, man. This this as well as the videos that they do that pumps us up, man. Right. Um, having mercy. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cause you chimed in too, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that's what, and, and that's love. That's a lovely thing too, man. When you're doing a live stream, and that's thing you know what I'm saying. You might be down to your last script or whatever. But you might not be coming to your mind at that point in time. That's thing you know. Go we'll just feed, feed, feed. That's the spirit, man. Look, we all um be a part, man. Do your part, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, what I be saying to the brothers sometimes, don't think they be on the other side. Um, every, uh, every man is <laughs> Right, you know what I'm saying? And not even that, um, get involved. Get involved, you know what I'm saying? All hands on deck. Everybody get involved, man. You know what I'm saying? Get involved, man. Back in Hebrews 6 and 10, and we are like, like the, um, nah, you good, bro. Just like the, um, the song by James Brown that the Apostle Gabbard, you know what I'm saying, put up. You know what I'm saying? Get into it. Get involved. You know what I'm saying? James Brown made that song. It was a powerful song, man. Get into it. Get involved, man. Part three, faith without works is dead, man. Back at the top, Hebrews 6 and 11, and we desire that every one of you share the same diligence to the full assurance of hope mm -hmm. unto the end. To the full assurance of hope unto the end, man. Just can't put in work for a short little season, man. You gotta be thinking, look, you gotta think long term. You know what I'm saying? You gotta think long term. You can't say if the, if the Lord don't come back this year, then I might just go back into the world. No, you gotta think long term, man. You know what I'm saying? You have, but you know, try to keep your spirit on me to continue to do this work until you come, Abba Rathazar, man. You gotta think long term, man, okay? You can't think short term. Yeah, and I'm like, us doing this video now, our hope is that when the Jacob's trouble comes, that since we showed our works to Yahweh by Shem that he's going to keep us from the hour of temptation. When the famine comes, we're going to be able to eat. That's, our, that's what we're working towards. And our ultimate goal, our ultimate reward would be avoiding those nuclear missiles. All right. You know, and being saved. I thought I'm already. We gotta talk to Yeah, bro, we're gonna read two more, bro. They're gonna wrap it up. Get first Corinthians, because you made a good point. Get first Corinthians 9 and 17. You know what I'm saying? Because when, when, you do, when you do the work of your house, by Shemel Shah, and you laboring, you reading, and you studying all that, you gotta be of a willing mind. You know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah, it, it, you got to be of a willing and ready mind when you do the work that you have. But you know, try. It shouldn't be a grudging thing. You, you shouldn't be fighting. Your spirit shouldn't be fighting, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? To come out here on the highways and byways. No, this is, should be something that you're willing to do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this, is first, uh, this is first Corinthians 9 and 17. Right. For if I do this willingly. For if I do what willingly? Willingly, the work of the Lord, man. But if we do this thing willingly, you know what I'm saying? Meaning, um, we ain't fighting you know, against, you know what I'm saying, our spirit to do this work, you know what I'm saying? You know, if we do it willingly. Go ahead. Or if I do this willingly, right. I have a reward. Hey, look, we have a reward. If we putting in the works that you have by Shemel Shai willingly, man, then we have a reward, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, part of the work, you know what I'm saying, is brotherly love, too. That's one of the main parts of the work, too, bro, brotherly love. You know what I'm saying? Um, kindly, being kindly affectionate um, one towards another. That's part of the works too, man. It ain't all, it ain't just um, coming out here on the highways and byways. It's about how you treat your brother too, man. You know what I'm saying? That's part of the work too. And, uh, and the other way we show it, by making a video, you showing the brothers in their time of need when their spirit is down, they watch your video and they get boosted up. Mm -hmm. That's the way you showing the brothers that you love them. You know? yep. I mean, they don't know, but through the spirit, you made a video just for him. Yep. want to go. Yep. And everybody can contest to that. You watching a video, you know what I'm saying, that one of the apostles, the elders, or one of the brothers did, you know what I'm saying, that just comforted your spirit instantly. 
right then and there. You was going through something. That's why we got to put this work in, man. Because our people constantly going through something, man. First Corinthians 9 and 17. Right. For if I do this thing willingly, right. I have a reward. That's right. But if against my will. Right. Damn, man. We got to go. Here comes Saturday. Here comes Saturday. Look, look. If I know the brothers getting ready to pull up in the field, and I don't even want to go. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The brothers getting ready to pull up to the crib and say they want to do a video, but I don't even want to do a video, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to rest. So you're doing it against your spirit, man. You know what I'm saying? You really don't want to do the video. You know what I'm saying? You're doing it against your spirit, man. You're not, you're not going to receive a reward for that, man. Go ahead. Just that verse. My will, against my will, a disposition of the gospel is committed on the Right. That's how you know you have no use for you, man. Basically, that's what the scripture is saying. You know, you don't want, you know, if you're doing this work against your spirit, man, it ain't no need of you even be um, be working for the Lord. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said he wants you to be doing this willingly, man. That's when you're going to receive a reward. You know? If you're doing anything against your spirit, you know what I'm saying? If your spirit is telling you, nah, man, I don't want to do it no more, and you're still doing it, but you know you really don't want to do it. Hey, you're doing that against your spirit, man. You're not going to get a reward for that, man. So, so do the work that you have by shooting your shot willingly, man. You know what I'm saying? Not grudgingly. You were thanking God for all your blessings. This is James 1 and 7. For let not that man think he shall receive anything of the Lord. Right. Look, look, man, that's plain. Don't think you're going to receive anything of the Lord if you're doing this thing unwillingly, man. You know? You gotta do this thing willingly. They just fucking need to die, right, bro? You know what I'm saying? They willingly want to die. You know what I'm saying, bro? You know what I'm saying? Right. I knew, I knew you were right. right? I knew that. I knew that. You said that's, that's what I'm saying, right, bro? You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, bro. Read that again, bro. Read that again, bro. James, who she is? Yeah, it's all good, bro. James one and seven. Right. For let not that man think he shall receive anything of the Lord. Right. We're talking about the men is supposed to be doing the work of the Lord, man. No. You're supposed to be pushing to the best of your ability. If you ain't doing it, I don't think you're gonna get a reward, man. You know. Get this last one, bro. Let's do the Get um that last one. Um get um. So rock, you have to leave? 7 to 15. Well, eventually, I mean, what, you, don't you, live here. Here. you don't live on this corner. It's been like an hour. Part, part, part three, man. Uh, well, you, like you don't work, you don't eat, really man. Point blank, period. I was smoking some people. The rock, 7 to 15. And it reads, hate like not laborious work. It doesn't feel good. Hate not laborious work. Hate not laborious work. Yeah, sometimes, you know what I'm saying, you're going to lose some sleep, man. Putting in work for your house, but you know shot. Sometimes you're going to be out here loaning it four or five hours. Putting in work for your house, but you know shot. You don't supposed to hate it, but you can't hurry up and get back to your one. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we did um, 30 minutes overtime, your woman yeah, mad. So mad you mad. Mad. No, you can't hate, oh yeah, um, we're going to do like three, four lessons. You can't hate laborers work, man. Because yeah, you're going to spend most of your time, you know what I'm saying, working for your house, but you know what man. You know? Doing videos. Uh, doing um, them live streams. Coming out here on the highways and byways. You can't start to hate that, man. You can't despise the works of your house, but you know what I'm man. But this, this is truly a blessing, man. Can't, look, hate not laborers oh, works, man. Right. 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 Sometimes you don't get off of work late and stay up for till two o'clock in the morning. That's right. You gotta be working at six o'clock, five o'clock in the morning. Right. The Lord is that you that you right. Right. And he always does, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, bro made a good point. You know what I'm saying? Standing up late night looking up um, meaning of words. You know what I'm saying? So you can break down the scriptures the right way. You know, edifying the elect of the nation of Israel. Don't hate that, man. That was it on that, bro? A little bit more. Hate not labor's work for either husbandry. Right. Because we, we, we plowing, man. We planting the seed. But you have about Shemel Shah, so you can't hate that, man. Coming out here teaching his word, man. You know, planting that seed, man. You can't hate that, man. Neither husbandry, which the Most High 
have ordained. Like yeah, but once you take your hand off the plow, you know what I'm saying? It's a wrap for you, yeah? Just know that, man. That's right. You know, hey, man, just a video through the spirit of how about shooting our site. If you don't work, you don't eat, man. Part three, man. Hey, with that, man, hey, with videos that we do uh, to edify the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of your so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. Hey, with that, we want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to the Heavenly Father, the only begotten Son, Jehovah Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Ratak Wadash. Next double honor to the head of apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the one that's the truth according to the Bible. Peace and blessings to all you sincere Akins, man. Pushing this Bible week in and week out to the best of your ability. But God, some people here for a bit, man. Once again, part three, faith without works is dead. Shalom.